Hi, today I want to get back to the plural form of the nouns. There are several exceptions which I want to introduce to you. Let's get down to the masculine. If a masculine ends in soft sign or in the soft consonant or in the letters like zhu, chu, shu, shu, the plural form of the noun will end in e. Letter. Let's see the examples. Vykladach, meaning teacher in the university. Vykladach. Plural form will be vykladachi. Now again, singular vykladach, plural vykladachi. Another word, uching, meaning pupil. Uching, singular, plural will be uchni. Tovarish, meaning comrade. Tovarish. Plural form of this word will be tovarishi. Now again, singular tovarish, plural tovarishi. Uchitil, meaning teacher in the school. In the plural form, it will be uchitili. Singular uchitil, plural uchitili. Let's see the feminine. If a feminine ends in a or ya with the preceding soft consonants or in the sounds like zh, ch, sh, sh, the ending of these words in the plural form will be also e. Let's see the examples. Pisnya, meaning song. Pisnya. In the plural form, it will be pisni. Singular pisnya, plural pisni. Vulitsa, meaning street. In the plural form, it will be vulitsi. Vulitsa, it is singular. Plural will be vulitsi. Plosha, meaning square. Plosha. In the plural, plosha will be ploshi. Plosha, ploshi. There are several other exceptions, like if a masculine form of the noun ends in u letter, in the plural form of the noun it will end in u letter. Let's see the example. Musei, meaning museum. Musei. In the plural it will be musei. Museums. Musei. Also feminine if it ends in Ya with the preceding apostrophe or a hard consonant, it will also end in y. Let's see the example. Simia, meaning family. Simia. In the plural form, it will be simia. Simia. Try to make the sentences with these words. Uh, with the material you covered in the previous lessons and if you have any questions or comments feel free to write me.